I think they're going to fire Minuski. I really do. Well, and they're going to make changes lamb. to the staff. I understand no that. No question. But, and let me say this. The stupid, to me it's stupid, hashtag fire Bruce Allen. It's right. not going to do anything. The, these, these protests and movements, they don't it do anything. It probably won't, but it, it has been pretty impressive that every, every time the Redskins tweet anything, you know, for the last, like, month, Every response is hashtag fire Bruce Allen. Now it, it's not going to remove him, but Correct. it does it does show the fans' dissatisfaction with him and what he's but done. But it's meaningless. Since, I know it's meaningless. It's meaningless. You Although can see there, that. there is a rumor that, that, that if the one thing that could happen is him be reassigned strictly to stadium duty stuff, right. and that, I think that would appease people if that in fact is what happens. Do you know what I mean? Right. And he and actually he's gonna, he's gonna, and not, right. Right, because the football record is awful. Right, and, and we know that. But the but it's been awful for years. And I know you guys, entire tenure. Whoever did the show last week was it you and I don't even Jason and I did it okay. last week. I know you talked week. about it, but that was an embarrassing scene to see the stadium that full oh, of people. And Joe Gibbs. Hideous. And Joe Gibbs there. Joe Gibbs getting yeah. trotted. Out. I mean, it's so embarrassing. And then the numbers wise, and I guess this is why Snyder could say this is why I fired Brian Lafamina. They actually. At their home than any team in the NFL, they were right. down 19. percent Yeah, right. Okay, that's fine. Well, I think they lost something like 20 you can't million. Can't just blame it on the new execs that you just no. hired. I agree eight months with ago. you. That's just, right. I'm just no, saying that did. that's what he oh, can I know. say. Yeah, did, I know he, right. Dan Snyder, if he's good at one thing in life, it's scapegoating other people Correct. for his failures. Yeah. So I, I completely understand why he threw them under the bus and fired them. Here's the thing, because they when told it comes him the truth. To, oh yeah. About when it comes to this year and even last year. I can understand why people say give Jay Gruden a pass. But I would have moved beyond him, you know, a year ago, definitely this year, because my guess is next year's gonna be more of the same. Like he's gonna be a Marvin Lewis type. He is Norv Turner part two. He's I just cannot see Jay Gruden ever really leading this team to a championship, and that should be the goal. And we took so many calls last week about it. So many. Because so many people were interested in it. Right. Well, nobody cared. <laughs> uh, uh, but I, I would agree. If it was me, I would have probably cleaned out the staff. But who, who's going to take the job? Who can you get? What competent quality replacement will work for that regime? I, look, I don't know who's going to be the, the next Matt Nagy. That's not my job. I don't know. Oh, apparently, the just, defen- yeah. apparently, the defensive backs coach of the Dallas Cowboys, I can't remember his name, has like three interviews today or yesterday. Mm-hmm. He's hot. But maybe if you, he's going to be awesome. Maybe, maybe Eric Bieniemy is going to be awesome. Okay, but if you go awesome. to Eric Bieniemy, you well, again, approach him and say, look, c- come here. Take over. He's going to look at all the chaos and dysfunction. He's going to look at Alex Smith owed how much money over the next two or three years and the fact that he may never play again and that his starting quarterback is most likely week one, probably Colt McCoy, and he's going to say, thanks for the invite. I'm going to look elsewhere. There are other way more attractive opportunities for me other than coming here and coaching this banged-up team. I'm going to take a pass. I think that's well, what most coordinators or guys who have options are going to look at this situation look, and say. These up-and-coming guys, these coordinators, want to get their head coaching jobs. So right. you can get one, but he's not going to be very good. No one's going to be, unless you get a, you can get, you get a retread or get an up-and-comer and put him in that same spot, and I'm guaranteeing you it's going to be the same result. Here's the thing with Jay. At least he keeps you respectable. You know what I mean? He keeps you at this point basically in the mix for 500. I don't think you're going to expect anything more than that. In fact, I think next year will be a real challenge because they've got no quarterback. Um, but you bring in an unknown, I mean, you think it's bad now. You could really whiff. You yeah, but could maybe, really whiff. But maybe you just, like, my thought is maybe you decide next year we'll just take our lumps. But take your lumps They're for somebody gonna. who you believe can lead oh, you to so a championship. Just who is that? So you, you want to have I that don't guy know targeted. who that guy is. I know, it could be Eric Bieniemy. I don't you know. know. But you know, they Did don't you know, know who Matt Nagy no, was no, before. No, but you know, Bruce doesn't know. You know who Bruce literally be? a buffoon. It could be Steve Wilkes. You want that to happen here? You That's think, what I'm you think, saying. You think you have something better okay. out there on the horizon? So you bring in Steve Wilkes and say, well, this is a disaster. Okay. <laughs> because of what Jason said, which is basically, Jason basically said, it's always going to be the same. Because of the management, right? Is what I'm assuming. Well, you're yeah, saying. I mean, if, if, is it, if is Bruce that, is still in place, how long do you go with Jay Gruden? Jay Gruden seven and nine next year. I don't look again. Seven I, nine. I'll find myself defending Jay, <laughs> and I don't think he's a great coach. I think he's pretty good. And like Eb said, he brings you at least at least a level of respectability. Okay. Yeah, it's not know, great. Be competitive. He's not going to give you 13 <laughs> okay. wins. Now I know, can... but my point is, 
You can always give me that Steve Wilkes argument. Okay? Sure. You can it's always, always give me the there. same arguments. So next year they go seven and nine. You can go with the same thing. But they're respectable. There are people, and <laughs> like I know this for a fact. I know this for a fact that the Redskins asked people, and and were told, how, "How do you think? What do you think about the coaching situation? You know, what to to go seven and nine with what they went through? It was a huge, huge positive for Jay Gruden. Huge, yeah, positive. somewhat impressive. The thought around the league and for people that the Redskins consulted with, I know of at least one, was that was pretty impressive." Seven and nine was pretty Plus impressive. Plus, he's got two years and ten million left on his deal. Yeah. As much as Dan Snyder doesn't want to punt away ten million dollars, even though it's a it's a drop in the bucket for him, he doesn't want to pay Jay Gruden to go off and be an OC somewhere and stroke him checks for two years. Well, they had he six wins. They had six wins with their starting quarterback. 